Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all really doing well. And yeah, so today in this video we're going to compare uh, compare Bumblebee and we're going to query for Bumblebee in both Forza Horizon 4 and Need for Speed Heat. If you if you want to check out my last video in which I made crosshairs in Need for Speed Heat and Forza Horizon 4 and compare, please click the link down below in the description. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. So in Forza, so for this we're gonna do for Query Bumble, we're gonna use the 2017 Chevrolet Camaro 01, which is the like the curve engine, and it's in the game. But as you know, we don't have any like customization in Forza for like we don't have any ride bodies. We do have the aspiration, but then the Chevrolet Camaro is supercharged V8. It's the same V8 they have in Corvettes. So for the customization. There's nothing much to customize, so I guess we're going to leave it the body stock for we're going to change the wheels or rims. Those were the five spokes rim, which kind of looks like this. Yep, those match exactly the same. You don't make them big. And we're done with the bodywork. And there it is, the Bumblebee after applying the wrap. Well, it does not match exactly in the movie, but this is the best I can do because since because of the limitation of customization in Forza and 4. And yeah, the hood might look a bit weird because like I'm not that much familiar of doing customization job in Forza and 4. So yeah, this is too much I can do in Forza and 4. It's really limited. So I'm really sorry like if it doesn't look that much accurate or good, this is the best I can do. Okay, so here we're in Need for Speed Heat, so we're going to start with the body work, so for the front bumpers. We're going to go with the Speed Hunters bumper. And we're going to leave the splitter stop because it matches a bit. Then we're going to change the hood to Speed Hunters one because it was a clean flat hood. It's not the flat, but then it's the best possible. For lights, we're going to go with uh, blue lights. Because why not? Bumblebee is hard to watch. And for the fenders, we're going to go with the white body fenders because uh, the Camaro in the movie is white body. For the side view mirrors, we're going to go with the carbon chidoro mirrors. For Side skirt. We go with the Speed Hunters one again, and we can go with the Speed Hunters uh, rear fenders as well. So it's a perfect combination of white body and again the Speed Hunters rear bumper. We're going to add the Illusion Fluent Dix sound system. Then we're going to change the rear spoiler. We're going to go over the speed of the voice, although it's uh, a small spoiler, but we does not have... No, it actually matches a bit because it has a... It is a bit lift from the side, so we'll go over the speed of this one. And... We're going to leave the different stock. And for the exhaust, we'll go with the bigger exhaust. This one. Speed on this one again. And for the rims, we go with these 3 SDM 3.33 FX2 for the front as well as rear. Going to make them a bit bigger and change the brake calipers and make them red so it matches the red color of the brake calipers because. The Camaro in the Need for Speed is the older version, it's actually the 2014 one. It's not the 2017 one which is actually in the movie but it's fine, we can make it work it out. Change the calipers. Now we have to change the color of the rims, for this we'll go with the black rims. And same metal finish 
for upload the albums again with the primary plane as well and we can see it started to take shape from here now I have, all we have to do is going to create delivery for it because it does not have any leverage for it we're going to just lower a bit of stance and we're going to make it pink we're going to make it yellow it's going to be gloss going to increase a bit of the brightness it's going to be an all metallic and the paint is done now we're going to do the decals for this if nobody wants to watch give me decals skip for like around one minute or like watch the whole time lapse And we are done with the Rinai wine roll works. In my this is how the final outcome looks like. In my opinion, it looks really great and it really matches the movie counterpart, although it's not the same generation model. But like due to customization and the vinyl wraps feature, it looks really great and it looks really better than that and of the four zones of four. Okay, so we're here. We're going to see the car. This is how the car looks like in the real world. To wrap the engine a bit. Well, the Camaro is powered by a 6.2 liter supercharged VH, which is the same engine they use in the Corvettes. Well, the C7 one, not the C8 ones. And the thing I like about the 4 is like we can go into the interior cockpit and we can see the interior of the car. It kind of looks really nice. It's a really modern muscle car, but in my opinion, it's not that much of a muscle car because is now morally dedicated as a tracker so in Forza Info the read sounds like this
Okay, this is the car looks. This is the idea how it looks out in the outside. It looks kind of a bit dark because it's kind of cloudy outside. You can see the shine sunshine over there, and you can see. But we does not have any internal camera like we do in Forza and Four. Although we have more better sound. In the for speed hit need the Chevy camera sounds like this. <laughs> Looks like we're at the end of the video guys, so like I hope we really enjoyed it. In my opinion, uh, the Bumblebee we recreated and Need for Speed Heat looks better of course because of the customization and the sound of the engine as well. And I wouldn't say like Forza 4, we did, it kind of looked good but it does not match that much either because like the limitations of the customization. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Comment down below what was what was your favorite part of the video, me creating the vinyl for the Chevy Camaro, like customizing the car, and what you think about the sound of the car, how does it sound, and comment down below guys what you want to watch in the next video, give me some ideas so I can make content for you guys because Christmas is coming in, like the festive season is almost at the door, like I guess it's only 4 days from Christmas, so like I guess Christmas spirit for you guys is really high, it's really high for me, so thank you for watching, I hope you guys will like the video, and please subscribe to the channel, and we will talk about that in the next video, and goodbye.